Hello everybody and welcome back. So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is building a brand new computer. Now I have a little bit of experience building computers. The computer I have right now, I built about three or four years ago. I built a few computers for my friends, so I kind of know what I'm doing, but I've never worked with hardware at this scale. And the last time I built a computer was like two years ago. So this is going to be an interesting video. Uh, I have no idea how I'm going to film any of this or what's even going to happen. So you're just going to have to wait and see. But let me tell you a little bit about the motivation behind this computer and why I've decided to go with some of the parts that I did. So the reason I'm building this computer is because the one I have right now, it's about three or four years old. I kind of wanted a new one. It's a little bit of a gift to myself before hitting 300,000 subscribers on YouTube. I've just been working really hard. I wanted to kind of get myself something. And I think that this is a decent investment considering this hardware is going to last me a very long time. Now what I do on my computer most of the day is really just programming work, which this system right here is absolutely completely overkill for. Even some of the other things I'm gonna mention, it is just way overkill. Uh, but what else I do is some video editing, I do some streaming, content creation. So it is worthy of me having a good computer. I am gonna use this hardware, but do I need something this fast? No, I just wanted it to be this fast. So everyone that goes in the comments and is gonna tell me this is overkill, I know I just want something fast, I want something good, and to be honest with you, I don't mind spending the money because again, this is just kind of a little treat to myself. So with that being said, let me go through some of the components here, talk about why I picked them, and then I'll try to go into some kind of video of me building this. I don't know how that's gonna look, and then I'll show you the final product. All right, so time to go through the parts here. Now I'll start by saying that this computer, the entire build was about 4,400 Canadian dollars. Now I might be a little bit off with that figure, but it's in that range between like four and $5,000. Uh, and that is Canadian dollars. So that's equivalent to US dollars is about 1.35 times more than a US dollar at the time of filming this video. So you can use that as your conversion rate as we go through this video. Just note that again, everything I'm gonna mention here is Canadian dollars uh, because that's what I bought it for and that's the price that I know. So with that being said, let's get started. The first part I'm gonna talk about is the CPU. So this is the Ryzen 9 3900X CPU. It's 12 cores, it has 24 threads, it has a 3.8 gigahertz base clock and a 4.6 gigahertz boost clock. Absolutely which is crazy CPU, super overkill. But again, I wanted something that is just gonna rip everything to shreds, just be super fast in any application. And this will be really nice for editing and rendering and all of that kind of stuff. Next, we move on to the GPU. So this is the RTX 2080 Super. Uh, just absolutely beast of a uh, GPU. Sorry, I forgot to mention this was 700 Canadian dollars. This GPU is about 1100 Canadian dollars and it has ray tracing, it has all that fun stuff, eight gigabytes of GDR6. Uh, there's not really much more to talk about it other than the fact that this is actually a white graphics card. So I'll show it to you later, but it's really cool what it looks like and it's RGB as well. Uh, and that's gonna be fun to install in the system. Next, we have the motherboard. So obviously I needed something that was compatible with the Ryzen 3. I also wanted something that had PCI 4. I wanted Bluetooth, I wanted Wi-Fi, and I just wanted something that was a really good overall uh, board. So I was looking at a few boards of like $400, $500. They were all sold out. I couldn't find anything in the mid range. So I either had to go low or high. I decided to go high and I bought literally the best motherboard that consumers can pretty much buy today. I'm sure that's a lie, but this is one of the best boards. This was a thousand dollar motherboard. Yes, I spent a thousand dollars, almost the cost of my GPU on a motherboard. <laughs> it's hard to justify this, but really it's just because I couldn't find anything else that was decent that was in stock. And this is the Meg X570 Godlike. I'll put it up here, although it is kind of heavy. And of course this has PCI 4, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. It has a 10 gigabit ethernet card that actually comes with it. It has three M.2 slots, comes with an expander card that has two more M.2 slots, which I'm not gonna use. It has four 16 times PCI lanes or, or PCI slots or whatever they are. I don't know all the lingo. And it even opens up and has this cool little Velcro thing. You can actually see the board in. It also has a uh, display that can play like GIFs on it and it has RGB and all of that. Really great motherboard. This is gonna make it pr pretty much possible to upgrade to anything that I want. So I won't have to buy another motherboard or anything like that in the future. Anyway, super overkill. Didn't really wanna buy this, but kinda sorta was forced to, so I just went ahead and did. Next, I have 
32 gigs of Corsair 3200 megahertz RAM. Nothing special about this. It is RGB and white, uh, and that's just gonna be the RAM. I wish I had bought something that had more megahertz uh, for this Ryzen CPU, because they do like higher megahertz RAM, but 3200 megahertz will do fine, and 32 gigabytes will be more than enough RAM that I need. Next, I have my OS drive or my boot drive. This is gonna be the Corsair MP600 NVMe Gen 4 M.2 SSD. These things are stupid fast. I didn't realize how fast they were. It writes at 5,000 megabytes a second or 4,950 megabytes a second, which is about 10 times faster than your standard SSD. And I actually have two other one terabyte Samsung 860 uh, Evo SSDs that I'm gonna be putting in that I'm pulling from my system here that my system here is the one that's on the ground that I've been using currently. Next, I have a two terabyte hard drive from Barracuda Seagate or something. This is an older hard drive. Again, I pulled it from my old system. And then I have a really old hard drive that has a lot of videos on it that I just need to kind of install. This is a two terabyte random Toshiba hard drive. Couldn't tell you how old this is, but I am gonna be using it because I don't want to buy another hard drive. Next, I have these LL120 white RGB fans. I'm probably gonna need to buy more of these because you'll see later that my case is massive. Uh, but these will go well because they're the same fans that are on the next part that I wanted to talk about, which is this. So this is the H100i RGB water cooler. I think this was like $250 or something. And yeah, those are gonna cool the CPU. That'll be a nice one. And since I forgot to talk about the prices, these fans are like $170. This RAM was like $350 or something, and this was like 180 bucks or something in that range. Next, I have my power supply, which is a Corsair RM1000X. This is the most overkill power supply I could have bought um, that makes kind of sense. I am thinking about potentially buying a second graphics card in the future, so it is nice to have the uh, possibility with this hard drive, or sorry, with this power supply to power both of them. I wanted an 850 watt power supply. Again, they were pretty much out of stock, so I just went one up. And that is kind of how we ended up with this. I have a few other random things that I'm gonna be st installing the, in the PC that I already have. I also have a huge case that's literally too big to fit on my desk, so I'll show you that. And last thing to mention is this is an EATX motherboard, which means it's a little bit wider than the standard motherboard. So it does take up quite a bit of room. And that is why I needed to go with the case that I have, which you guys will see as I start building this. So with that being said, those are the parts. I hope all my numbers added up there. I didn't mention a few things, but that's all right. And yeah, let's get into the build and let's look at the finished product.
So I'm here, it's the next day, and I have to be honest with you guys that I'm so happy with how this build turned out. It took me a long time, I put a lot of hard work into making this, I had my brother kind of come down and help me a little bit as well, and after about three and a half to four hours of building, here we are. Now there's a few hiccups along the way. The one massive mistake I made was I accidentally cut one RGB fan wire. Uh, don't even ask me how that happened because I don't really know. It just all of a sudden the RGB stopped working and I went in the back and saw that I had cut the wire. So that's interesting. I had to throw one of those fans up at the top so that you could no longer see it. And then I went out and bought some more LL120 fans just to make the thing really feel complete and fill up the entire front intake with four 120 millimeter fans. So I think this looks really nice. The white is really clean. I'm just so satisfied with it. And it's really awesome to be able to build this because a few years ago, this would have been what I would have considered kind of a dream PC of mine when I was 16, 17. And today I'm actually able to make that a reality really because of the hard work I've put into this YouTube channel. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this PC build. Apologize if the clips are not up to standard with some of those massive channels that do this for a living, but this is just a fun video I wanted to put out and show to you guys. So with that being said, if you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and of course, let me know what you think of my new PC build.